And here we go, another episode of Behind the Beer. The cast is all here, well, most of them anyways. We're missing Todd. Todd, you're always welcome to join us. Um, if you're out there, yeah. So, uh, episode, virtual episode 19, I Can't Beer It Anymore. <laughs> and there's a reason I picked that title, as, as we'll find out as we get into it. So, how's everybody doing tonight? Good, Good Brian. Hey. 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 So, the, I see, Graham, there's something happened to your hat. Who? Who me? What's what's going on with your hat oh, there? You got... I'm, I'm being Krampus <laughs> instead of Sansa. Krampus <laughs> is the evil Sansa from uh, in, uh, Eastern uh, European folklore. Apparently, mm -hmm. he, he chases after wicked children and carries them away in his sack. I don't know what he does with them, but um, he might be eating them. I'm not sure. But it's, it's a bit... Well, I probably nasty. don't want to know. <laughs> it's one of those nasty fairy tales that they tell the kids to keep them quiet, I think. I think. Yeah. Still back a hundred years or so. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, too it, too it, terrifying. Is a good image for me because you know Sansa's too soft. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, around the middle. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all the mince pies that he eats when he comes around the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're naughty, you're nice. Oh, if you're naughty, you're gonna meet Krampus. <laughs> That's a little uh, scary. Oh, uh, Kramp Krampus, you don't want to meet Krampus, right? No. No, I don't really, you know. <laughs> oh, I've seen Krampus. a couple of movies about him, you know. He's not, it's no joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been a few horror movies. I think they're horror movies in that, in that horror genre. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in Ooh, my opinion, right, so... they're comedies to me, but, you know. <laughs> He's to their own. <laughs> so there we go. So tonight we have Evil Santa being represented. Awesome. <laughs> good Santa yeah, yeah. here, by the way. Just... <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's good, cop, good cop, bad cop. <laughs> good Santa, bad Santa. <laughs> Wasn't there a movie about that? Bad <laughs> Santa. Bad Santa, yeah. yeah. Well, what was it? Billy Bob Thornton, was it? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. It's funny. So it's kind of looking for all kinds of uh, Christmas-related beer stuff. I did find a couple little things. We'll get right into some of the crafts here. Here we go. I might actually make these for another another episode. Uh, how to make a rain beer. <laughs> it looks pretty easy. Just some stick-on eyes and a stick-on red felt dot and some uh, brown pipe cleaners, and you can make yourself a rain beer. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. Nothing to do with Krampus. I have, I have some of those eyes. Can, we can make some. Yeah, make some, well, some. Get to drink them afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Christine, we have beer. to find some beer that come in that, that comes in bottles. Mm. Off track. Off track could be a Ooh. good spot. Yeah. I'll have to figure out how to do that with a can. How to make a rain beer That's out of right. a can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a little more difficult. It could yeah. be, yeah. Because I've got a can here tonight. Do that. That'll be something, right. a project for this week. Well, once we've finished putting all the seeds and stuff, what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get out of it, easily. I was also looking to see if anybody put in a real Christmas beer, and um, I really didn't find any. The only thing I came even close to something that might uh, be considered a Christmas beer is a spruce beer by Garrison. It, it did find it on another site that linked to this, uh, to the Garrison site. Uh, local spruce and fir tips are harvested from the Meander River Farms. Oh, we know, we know who they are. To uh, recreate this historic East Coast brew, so uh, the evergreen mix adds a bold aroma and crisp bitterness while blackstrap molasses creates a sweet dark complexity so there you go that's the only beer i could find that really kind of has a uh, holiday theme to it so if you know of any christmas beers let us know i'd love to hear from you well i remember getting one last some, year well, yeah, it was another angel candy finding candy. a beer <laughs> I remember one last year, I can't remember what it was in it now. I can't, what was it called? It was a Christmas beer, wasn't it? From last year. I seem to recall. Yeah, well, I can't remember what it was yeah. called. Yeah. Was it? I'll think about it. Let me know if I can. I'll look it oh, up if I can find it. Yeah, I'll have to have a think. I just can't remember at the moment. But, mm. uh, I remember getting something last Christmas. It was a Christmas Eve beer. 
I've forgotten what it was called. Some seed beer. It's no good. Interesting. Um, not remembering, you know. <laughs> so normally I ask people what they're wearing, but I'm going to ask you guys, what are you drinking? Who wants to, who wants to start? What are you having tonight? Go on, Bob, you start, because that was just complicated. <laughs> well, I, uh, I stopped in to, uh, to see the folks at North um, in, in Timberley, and I believe this is the one. I picked out a couple of different, uh, different brews, but I believe that this is one called, it's sequence, it's table beer. Uh, which is a, a lower, it's a saison, lower alcohol. Um, but I believe that this is the one that was uh, brewed by our friend Brad, who also designed the label. Oh. And it, it has just come out. Um, so in, in that respect, it's uh, kind of a Christmas beer. Mm. And <clears throat> so I'm going to have that. And I've also got the uh, air seltzer. And um, I don't, Christine, you didn't have a, yeah, you had one of the seltzers, didn't you, when we were at uh, the Hawaiian tea, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is one that would be more Christmas. It's uh, cranberry and clementine. Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It does look very. Yeah. So I haven't uh, haven't tried it yet, so I'll let you know. And I, <clears throat> and to, in honor of our friends at North, I've got, uh, Two other glasses. The, ah. uh, uh, this one I think is is mm. more suitable for the seltzer. And um, I thought, just in case I wanted to settle in for a long uh, winter's <laughs> night, I've got a twenty ounce uh, mug here, which is what the uh, <clears throat> what the table beer is going to go into. Sequence. That's a good nightcap yeah. there. You bet. Wow. Yeah. That looks so, great. Yeah, so I think I'm going to try the seltzer, the seltzer first, and then um, then follow up with the. As I say, it's at three and uh, sorry, it's, I think it's about three and a half percent or three point eight percent. So it's a nice light. Uh, it's on. I'm sorry. It's just it's on a dark. Uh, it's gray, gray lettering on a black uh, background. Maybe four percent, but it's a it's a fairly light beer, so so that's what I'm doing. Hmm, trying to find that one on their website. It might it might not be there, Brian, because it just came out. I think this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they had there was another one that I I picked up, um, only because it's uh, Christmas time, and I said, "Do you mm -hmm. have any?" Uh, that are Christmas themed, and they said, "Well, our our most recent one is a, a stout uh, called mm. uh, I think it's Stack of Pancakes." So I, uh, uh, yes. with some with some trepidation, I picked it up. I haven't tried it yet, but there you um, go. our friends at North are, are are pretty good. So I, um, if I don't like it, it will be purely be a personal taste, yeah, not nothing to do pancakes. with their brewing. Nine yeah. percent. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, chocolate malt, maple yeah. syrup, vanilla, and salt. Wow, that sounds yummy. Well, this is quite nice. I think you'd like this, Christine. Well, nice for. Uh... <laughs> yeah. No, it didn't, it didn't say I'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> there's a re there's a reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would like it. You'd be right. You'd be yeah. right. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, oh, wow. Okay, so I can zoom in on there. I'll go back to the website here for a sec. It will let me do it. There we go. Wow, I can zoom right in. Look, yeah. there you go. Stack of pancakes. Stack of pancakes. Imperial yeah. stout. It's like a meal in a can. Or dessert. <laughs> you probably like that. I don't know. I have to try it. I said they're not against trying it. Yeah. You, know? you probably don't want to drink more than one. Graham at nine percent. Uh, oh, I, yeah. Well, yeah. Not nowadays. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be singing. You know. Mm -hmm. Stood on the table, wearing a lampshade on my head, singing a song. <laughs> as long as it's a Christmas lamp, lampshade. Yeah. Yeah, with <laughs> horns. Yeah. Well, that one with that movie with the leg. Was it, what's that movie called? Christmas Story. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm having a little. Uh, uh, crown, uh, crown. crown, and, and mixing, mixing it with 
Sap sucker. <laughs> oh. yeah, and that's yeah. now. It, it, it's, it's not, not that, from Kelly. A, it's, <laughs> it's not from around here. here. It's, it's, it's done, done in Ontario, Ontario. but it's uh, it's tree. Uh, tree sap. It says it's tapped in Canada. Canada. It's organic, it's organic sparkling, sparkling tree water. water. Really? Okay. okay. Does it say who makes it? It's made by Lower, Lower Valley, Valley Beverage Company in Ontario. I'm not. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, no. And this is a uh, white lime flavor. Let's try it first. Oh, it's it's really refreshing. Really refreshing. So is it sweet? Or just more of well, a it's lime, lime flavor. What, I mean, what does lime taste like? Yeah, lime. yeah it's a uh, it's a sweet lime. lime. Uh, okay. um, it does, does have some sugar, sugar in it. Yeah. Um, um, organic yeah, maple, maple water. water organic, organic natural, natural flavor, flavor citric acid. acid. So, so wow. yeah. Sapsucker. Sapsucker. Yep. Yeah. Sapsucker dot com. Oh, oh, and it is are. good with crown. <laughs> Isn't everything? Oh, well, so really? Yeah. <laughs> well, crown makes everything taste good, though, doesn't it? It does. It does. <laughs> I still haven't tried that yet with eggnog. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, so yes, not not nothing local there. Kelly's gone into the no. province, no. but that's okay. Oh, sorry. As long as it's right. on the planet, you know, it's still local. <laughs> on the planet, it's yeah. Canadian. Yeah. Behind yeah. the behind the Canadian yeah. beer, yeah, yeah. Because we'll take sponsors from all across the country for the show. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. So what have you got, Brian? What have what I got? Have I'm going to take a little ride on the railroad. <laughs> that my camera will focus on that or not? That's the uh, the train. I just like that uh, that image. It's the Railway India Pale Ale, I think, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and a rye IPA from Annapolis Brewing Company. I do have their website there, but I got to open it first and have a sip. I'm dry, really dry. Got to get into it. Get it down your neck, as they say. <laughs> there you go. I need a second camera set up here. Lord knows I got enough of them. Yeah, it's lots of luck. Double, double vision. There. Ooh, looks that looks good. really nice. Looks almost like an amber. It's that, uh, it's that dark. Anyhow, over the lips and past the gums. Look, oh, tummy, here it comes. It's not how it goes. Or something like that. Something like that. It'll do. Mm, ho, ho, holy crap, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, little, just a little, little hint of bitterness. Not nothing overly strong. Almost does kind of remind me of an amber ale. So it's a, but not not overpowering or anything. No, that's that's really nice. Sweet. Oh, oh we forgot to do it. We forgot to do it. Here we go. Sociable. Yeah. You gotta wait for Chris and Graham. Oh yeah, everybody gets the sociable. Oh, okay. Except I, I missed, I missed you, you, though. Sorry. Well, that's all right. And because Bob, it's, sorry. Time to it. <laughs> it's hard to be producer and sample product at the same time. It's a tough job. Yeah. <laughs> we can engineer it so that you get to sample more. I, I know, right? You know, right? That's why we need that sponsor. Out there. Anybody listening and wants to sponsor the show, we love you. So, Chris, it looks like you've got uh, quite a uh, an array on that table in front of you. Wow. What have we got here? We do. Uh, we did a tasting uh, with a different rum that Graham got for his birthday. And so we thought this was the perfect <laughs> opportunity to showcase. Uh, so we want to reenact the experiment. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was really fun. But on this occasion... We're keeping it local. Yeah. The last one was Kraken coffee flavored rum. But this one is number 902. It's a white rum and it's from Black Harbor Distillery. 
mm-hmm. which is like just down the road from us, really. Yeah, just down the road from uh, Kelly and Brian. Well, yeah, yeah. just yeah. just across the bay. Down the road, yeah. Well, yep, uh, across the bay. Covered, covered area. Yeah. So well, what we're going to do? We're going to do three different experiments. <laughs> Uh, we're going to start off with the control experiment, as they say, and we're going to drink it neat in a shot Ooh, glass. Neat. Oh. Experiment number two. Well, let's, let's announce them as they come along. Let's do this one first. And I'm going to let you open it because I can't see properly without my reading glasses. It's one of these sealed tops. And uh, you can see how it meant, magically went from one screen to another. And it's like CGI. <laughs> 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 Just remember the continuity, CG. Brian. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> cut, cut. Yeah, cut. Yeah. For, the, for those of you who don't know, they are in this same room. There's no special effects. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. just, They're a couple. Just, just saying. saying. The, the cast is actually a piece of wood. Ah, oh. yes. I don't know if that's just being nicely rustic or they just ran out of cast. <laughs> They just scraped it off the floor, put it on top of it. <laughs> well, this looks like water. Yeah, I'll have this one. I'll have this one. Okay. Bottom is up. Bottom is up. Right. Well, hi. Or... Sociable. Woo. Oh, well. Oh. Wow. They did have the website there. I'll go back to the website. There we are. Oh, he's very nice. Yeah, so it's, 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 an, it's the 902 nine. blended rum. It's that's the one. It's like different flavors. <laughs> just whatever right. it whatever it is, it's crawling up the back of my nose. <laughs> it's uh, too much can taste, information. Can I taste, <laughs> taste mint salt? Can I taste coconut? I'm not sure. I can taste something. I don't know that that first uh, impression is um, definitely a blend of flavors. Yeah, I can't put my finger on it. Yeah. But it's, listen, I want to say you... it's very sweet and it's very candyish. So I'm going to say it's very Christmassy. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't it's think good. of another word for it at the moment. There's something in there. So there is. It's, uh, and, and the reason you're probably uh, tasting all that is because it's uh, car- Caribbean rum infused with caramel, caramel, banana, vanilla, and coconut. So there's all those flavors. Yeah. That must be quite a full bouquet of flavors. I mean, yeah. Caribbean rum is it's white rum. It's like Bacardi, mm-hmm. I suppose. So yes, yeah, I would go with uh, what you just said. <laughs> I, d- I just read it from the website. That's that's all I do. No, but yeah, I'm gonna start singing now. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'll give that ten, ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> now the next hey. is better. Let's see how it cuts through some coke. Okay, you've oh, got to get the glasses. Oh, Pepsi. Together. Come on, do we want ice in this? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Excuse my glasses. Oh, too much. <laughs> so just a little more information on it. You can get it in, it uh, looks like, three sizes. Right. A 750 milliliter, a uh, 375 milliliter, and a 50 milliliter. I'm not exactly sure what size they're showing here. I can't quite read that. Anyhow, it looks really nice. 40%. 902 blended rum and they have a nice maple rum here too and oh it's, and that's interesting because the maple source from acadia maple products which is actually not too far from here just up the road a little ways the nice thing about when you go to their um, actual location <laughs> they do they actually do different um flakes um boards yep. that you can choose um, to sample different drinks that, um, different cocktails that they mix up. I can't get yeah. this ice in the glass. Excuse me, just... Yep, that's uh, good. A bit left. You, you can have that. I'm not bothered about ice. Well, we need, we need it for the, the, the last one. Yes, but you can have it. I don't want it. Oh, okay. well, there's not enough for two of us, so... <laughs> I just, just let me settle this dispute. Um, she, loves <laughs> her, she loves ice in her eggnog. Oh, that's, that's the third experiment. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. So we've got to. Uh, That's okay. We'll forgive her for that. We've shot, got our <laughs> shot skulls in the glass with ice. So that's. Uh, and our, our cola beverage of choice. Yeah, Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. 
I'm the soulless caffeine free coat. And there's a spoon there. I can That's not dry. Stir it, not shaken. Bondage. James Bondage. You want to stir it? Stir it, not shaken. <laughs> I think I've got it. Okay, Chris, go through a little bit of a shall we? Scotiable. 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 Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. that. I could, I could, I could quite easily drink this all night. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> would you remember the thing afterwards. Yeah. You no. Know. We could do. So that's the so same. That's the, the 902 blended rum again with some in uh, mixed with Coke. Yes. There you go. Nice. Nice. See, it's versatile. Sure rum so versatile. <laughs> We're just choosing the three variations that we like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so try it neat first, just because, so that you. Yeah, you because appreciate the, it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 What is that? Well, we, I mean, with it being a Christmas show, we can't do it without eggnog. So you know. Yeah. Of course not. So I'm gonna have another sip of this. So there's the. Uh, I got to go back to the uh, railway rye IPA. I didn't bring up their website when I mentioned it. That's what I'm. I'm slurping on here. Really nice yeah. from Annapolis Brewing. That's a 473 milliliter can, and uh, I was looking for a. An alcohol content, which I don't see very quickly here. Oh, there it is, 6.7 percent, and uh, 60 on the international bitterness unit scale. What community uh, houses Annapolis? Where where is that? That's I think Annapolis that's Brewing. is that down around Digby or? Uh, it's Annapolis Royal. Yeah. St. Okay. George Street, uh, Annapolis Royal, 302 to St. George Street, to be totally exact. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that where that little bistro is that we like? Bistro East? The bistro East? East. Uh, yeah, well, that's St. George Street, I believe, yeah. 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 Let's see. And the Bistro East is wonderful. If you're ever in Annapolis Royal, check out the Bistro East. The food there is amazing. Hopefully it's still open. I don't know. I haven't been in been there in a few years. So. And the German bakery. And, no, let's not go there. I still get like five pounds they put on from just looking at stuff in there. That's just around the corner from Bistro East. Yeah. Too close. Too close. You should at least have it like 10 blocks so you can walk it off a little bit of it anyways. <laughs> Yes, I didn't want to do that. You just keep thinking that, Brian. <laughs> what? I mean, the show might go on too long if we wait until we finish drinking this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the eggnog one. Let's do the eggnog one. Yeah. Do the eggnog yeah. one. So, we do have a couple while, of while you're, getting, <clears throat> while yeah. you're getting that ready, I've uh, here's the um, oh oh yeah, the sequence. So it's oh. quite um, it's quite light. Um, mm -hmm. Got a really nice flavor to it. Mm. Um, so say, I think that's our friend Brad. Um, awesome there was job, one of them Brad. that they were showing me, and and uh, uh, but they had about four. Actually, they had more than than two new ones. But I'm pretty sure this is the one that he designed, or that he brewed and designed the label. Good job. Brad's the man. I don't mind that. I'll be nice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they did find. <laughs> oh, it's the beer memes. It's the most wonderful time for a beer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, very good. Merry Christmas, everybody. Okay. That's just a picture of a festive beer, and it's not really a meme. Neither's this one. Yeah, yeah, it's festive, it's and it includes beer. Yeah, so this is Annapolis Brewing Company, St. George Street in. Uh, now, no, that is that. Yeah, that's Annapolis Royal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the Bistro East. I don't think you see my most flipping around there. It'd be right mm -hmm. in this building here on the corner. 
if it still exists. I'm hoping it does because it was amazing. It does. It does. does, it does. It? I saw. I I saw some advertising for it the other day. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. I think it was down. No, it's down further. Sorry, I'm on the wrong street. It's on St. James Street. There's the Bistro East. Yeah. yeah. I think right you were pointing here. at the uh, uh, bakery, the German bakeries up a little further. Gee, I wonder why. I wouldn't point <laughs> at a bakery. just goes there automatically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my default. <laughs> yeah. Are we ready for this one now? Here's the egg. Yep. Yep. Are we? I don't know. Brace. Everybody brace. <laughs> That's our, uh, our, our go-to as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The only bottle we've got, or carton we've got. I need to write a song about rum and eggnog. Rum and eggnog is good for you. Ah, I'm sure there must be one. Drinking <laughs> black rum and eating blueberry pie. I'm going a little yeah, lighter. It's close. I like the eggnog. Drinking Can black I... rum and putting it with eggnog. Yeah, we got to change the words a little bit, but we could do that. That's an Anne Murray song, and it's hard to find. Mm -hmm. Drinking black rum and eating blueberry pie. Ooh, Ooh I heard new. Is that new? <laughs> Love your ingenuity with the table all set up there. That's all, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, eggnog. Eggnog. Sociable. 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 <laughs> See, I am on it now. I got the sociable thing right on cue. <laughs> oh, I should drink. Oh, I'm thinking I should have had one and a that. half shots like I normally do because he's not cutting through the flavor of the eggnog. Well, see, that's why I only mm -hmm. put that much yeah, in it. It's not, I like the eggnog as well. So. <laughs> I have to drink a little bit and put some more rum in it. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to. <laughs> that's perfect. It's a, a mixing on the fly. Yeah. Live mix. I'm going to pour it in. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried eggnog with with other types of uh, no, liquor? No, we've been told to try it with the bourbon. By yeah. you. By you. By me. So that is, we are definitely going to be trying that. We, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a full decanter of wises upstairs. Yeah. I'll give you another tip that... Um, uh Sharon taught me was it with your eggnog just put a little dollop of uh whipping cream mm. just just a tiny bit and it uh mm. it just really makes for a full bodied uh, eggnog flavor it's really now, nice is that wow. whipped or no just like out of the out of the cart just a, just a little bit just a I just I can say so. have that <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah. You've created a monster. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, that, I, well, that extra, I think actually I've had a double in this now. I can, I can taste the rum. This, this rum isn't as powerful uh, flavor wise as a dark rum for me. Uh, no, so no. My honest it's opinion, great. as far as eggnog's concerned, I think I'd rather drink eggnog with dark rum. Oh. Go ahead and get shit faced rum and eggnog. Graham, have you tried uh, Ironworks dark rum? Yes. We've got, oh, yeah. We've got some upstairs. Down in Lunenburg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that one of my favorite ones as well. Yeah. yeah. Really, and really nice. Supporting local. Supporting local. Mm -hmm. Ish. Yeah. Well, it, it's ish. Yeah. And it's, uh, which which doesn't take anything away from 902. I think they've got some really nice. Mm -hmm. That's really, uh, nice. really, really nice. A white rum. It's a white, mm -hmm. like, a very light, fluffy rum, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. But I yeah. prefer that with either neat or with a Coke. Yeah. Uh, right. with, with eggnog, eggnog's too powerful a taste. To, to you want a little, something a little darker, a little stronger. Yeah. Darker yeah. and stronger. Yeah. It'll cut through the, cut through the mist. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't um, know what I'm talking about, but you know what I mean. Yeah. For, for a white rum, that is a, one of the best. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. I love it. it. Yeah. Really nice. But if I'm drinking it over Christmas, yeah. it is any less. Don't look at me. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be drinking it with coke. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's nice. It's mm -hmm. okay. All right. Well, that was great. I think we had a great show there. Yeah. 
None of us will remember it's... it in the morning. What? what? I don't remember it now. Who said that? Who said that? Who are you guys? <laughs> Who am I? Why have I got horns coming out of my head? Yeah. <laughs> <Dumb>. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we'll wrap it up. That's been a great show. Thank you for everyone coming on and trying some That's brew so and fun. talking like we normally do about stuff and i can't talk anymore i've had too much to drink so that's right so we'll show, but we should all say uh happy hanukkah or whatever people are watching and happy celebrating holidays, happy, holidays. Happy, holidays. Yes. 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 happy happy holidays, holidays everyone. everyone happy hanukkah stay safe may the dark may the dark lords i can't say it may the dark lords say some worship upon you or whatever that means <laughs> you keep your stick on the ice yeah. <laughs> yeah. can't go wrong with that one yeah. Tick. So long. long. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah.